Hi guys, I'm Leon and welcome back to another speed build. Today, uh, as you <laughs> might have already noticed, uh, we already have a structure, so that's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, to this this is a, this isn't a build video. This is more of some sort of a furnishing video than building, pretty much. This was requested um, for me to uh, furnish, which I was a little bit, just a little bit skeptical about. Uh, cause normally, you know, if you haven't really noticed, furnishing isn't really my thing, <laughs> so neither was this idea, but I thought, you know why, you know what, why not, let's practice furnishing, and let's even go uh, out of my comfort zone from furnishing, let's go into some sort of a style that I'm not so familiar with, and that, you know, I don't really have a lot of, uh, experience with, so that's why, uh, I really decided to actually furnish this castle because you know this is something that looks like old school first of all second of all i'm not really familiar with like old school styles too much so that's why it kind of goes out of my comfort zone but i think i did a pretty good job at the end now uh <laughs> as for lack of videos in the past week or so uh the reason uh, why i didn't uh make videos if i say that i was on vacation uh, that would be a lie so uh, <laughs> i was just so the truth is i was being lazy and i just didn't want to be productive that was my main uh, problem <laughs> in the past uh, couple of weeks so sorry everybody but i am back and uh, so are my videos now of course you'll notice that this isn't a full thing you're probably wondering leon what the heck have you been doing for like the past weeks you just made a couple of rooms for this castle first of all it's a pretty huge castle so it's gonna take me a while to furnish it all second of all since i don't really make videos that often or since i didn't make one video in a quite a while i decided uh, instead of waiting for instead of making you guys wait uh longer for videos i decided you know what we could totally do this as parts because at the end i'm pretty sure that this build will be uh, pretty big because there's a lot of rooms to furnish so you know all in one video just doesn't really seem to be that much possible so <laughs> I decided let's do it in parts and let's see how that goes so each part would be around 15 ish minutes long uh, 12 to 15 minutes depends on how much I spend on uh, recording and uh, yeah I think this is, I think it turned out pretty good and also, uh, it won't be the only video, this will also uh, get into, you know, that part where I kind of want to do uh, two videos a week, but that didn't happen because I just can't build two homes in, like, a week. So that idea fell in the hole pretty quickly. <laughs> so uh, this would be, like, the second video in the week, so I will still continue to do my normal home builds that you would normally see on my channel uh like you know super modern homes and stuff like that but you'll also get these uh furnishing videos which i think is uh, quite nice and i think it's definitely as much as i hate furnishing i think this is actually a lot of fun because not only do i practice furnishing but i also discover new ways to furnish things and you know, so also I get some different rooms to uh, figure out, like the layout and everything. You know, some rooms that I'm not normally familiar with and something that doesn't really look or... It doesn't really look like something I would imagine in my mind and build. So then you have to like really think about, hmm, how am I gonna build this? So I think that's uh, just a lot of fun. And now this is a kitchen, if you haven't really realized, it's a pretty big kitchen, and I think it looks uh, really nice. Uh, I didn't, now this is some sort of a area that has a lot of clutter in it, but <laughs> you'll notice uh, we will move to living room later. It won't be that fully detailed, because first of all, I couldn't really find anything to put in the living room that would actually look appropriate. <laughs> so that's first thing. Second of all, I, I wanted to kind of speed it up a little bit and you know be done with the room quicker but I don't think that's gonna be necessary anymore since I'm doing this in Potter's part so that's gonna be fun but if you still don't like these uh, furnishing videos uh, there will still be speed builds like I mentioned normal speed builds that I make so if you're not happy with this you, you will still have your normal content this is just some sort of an add-on to my channel 
to kind of uh, make it up for my absence on YouTube lately, so uh, that's new. Uh, so this is uh, uh, pr this entire uh, this entire castle is made um, no, it's styled by by like you know Victorian style styled uh, furniture. And uh, also, when I was building, uh, not building this castle, this castle wasn't built by me, uh, this castle was uh, built, let me check. It was built by uh, Ellie Harrison, I hope I say your name correctly. So, uh, big thanks to Ellie for sending me this uh, castle, and uh, she built this castle, I think it's pretty huge. Uh, now, the, the main structure isn't that big. But it has two basements, which for which I don't know what I'm gonna do with. <laughs> so that would be interesting when the time comes to furnish that. So here I was just going with some pictures trying to figure out what to do in this area. I'll also add a bar, but it won't look like a modern bar. It will look like an old school bar, so don't you worry about that. And yeah, pretty much where did I leave? Uh, I meant to say something, but I think I forgot. Yeah, that happened. Uh, so, yeah, like I was saying, big thanks to Ellie for making this castle for me to furnish. And if you guys have anything you would like me to furnish, uh, as long as it's small, I don't mind it. But if it's as big as this castle, then I might just not furnish it. So, But if you guys have any suggestions, like I said, I'm always open for feedback. Uh, feedback is uh, super, super appreciated. And any suggestions are acceptable all the time so you can contact me anywhere so you can leave a comment here below on youtube you can go on twitter on facebook i although i don't recommend facebook because i barely use that thing and others oh the sims live stream just started i'm recording this anyway i'm not gonna watch the stream uh, unfortunately i will rewatch it later so yeah uh anyway uh yeah what about the sims live stream it's the brand new backyard stuff live stream that's happening so we're getting new stuff so that's exciting <laughs> we're getting new stuff yes and things and stuff now this is the bathroom i think so i closed off this area and uh this was the bathroom at the end it's a pretty large bathroom but uh i don't i don't think i have m smaller uh sort of uh, corners where i could fit in a bathroom, so this is probably the smallest bathroom you'll find in this entire castle. Also, while I was uh, furnishing this castle, uh, I thought, you know what, wouldn't it be great if I could like make some sort of a castle that's like famous or something? Then I was thinking a little bit about that, then I remembered maybe I could do a Game of Thrones castle, but uh, I never watched the show. Don't, now, before I do get any hate, because I didn't watch Game of Thrones, and I don't watch Game of Thrones, and I probably never will watch Game of Thrones, uh, it's not that I dislike the show, I just never really got around into watching it. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I can already imagine all the hate that I'm, I'm gonna get because of this, but yeah, it's just how you live, pretty much. I don't really watch Game of Thrones, and I'm gonna stop saying that because I... I have a feeling the more I say that, the more hate I'm gonna get. So, if you're a big Game of Thrones fan, uh, I'm sorry, but it just happened. So, yeah, hashtag YOLO, you only live once, and things and stuff. Just adding down carpets, and I went with um, brick floor, it looks like brick floor. So, <laughs> And I also meant to add this plant in the middle to sort of like make something with this area. <laughs> but I decided to not to, because... A plant in the middle really doesn't look good. And here, this is uh, the dining room. Uh, now, one fun thing about a uh, fun thing about this dining room you'll see is it sort of has a circle, somewhat of a circle. It's not really a circle. Uh, table. Uh, it it has a plumb up shape, but it also uh, is more of more extended. It doesn't really look like a plumb up. It doesn't only have four corners. It has more more corners. It has uh, six corners instead. It's a hexagon. So yeah. A bit stretched hexagon, if you will. Uh, and it has a lot of uh, chairs and tables. Now, uh, as for this middle part where you see there's nothing, uh, I left it like that because uh, this was part of the plan to have uh, sort of nothing in the middle and the t actual table like as an outline, like a stroke. 
uh, where I uh, I normally got this idea from. Uh, I think I first saw it in uh, I think in Hunger Games, like President Snow would have this dining room with, with that huge table, huge circle table, and like it was actually empty in the middle. So it was a normal width table uh, with just nothing in the middle. So I thought that looks kind of cool. So I kind of brought that over to The Sims World instead. Instead, I don't think instead is good. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. Moving on, this is sort of the study area that's right next to the living room. So it's sort of like a living room, but this is like the sitting area. This is maybe where you would hang out or play board games if these things existed in the past, like in 19th century there's also a piano there so your sims can have a fun time play some games uh, play a piano sing along which i heard was quite popular back in the day <laughs> and yeah just enjoy the time pretty much so we'll be adding it here in the uh, <laughs> we'll just chuck it here in the corner i will also add a couple of bookcases and uh that will pretty much be it i think or not, I don't know, I'm not pretty sure. Uh, so, uh, yeah, pretty much. So this is the hallway, I'll, uh, these hallways also have uh, pictures in them, so we know they have kind of these grand pictures, uh, framed pictures that are on the wall, which I thought would look really nice. It would look some sort of like a gallery in the hallway. Uh, I noticed that a lot of castles have that. Uh, when I said a lot of castles, I meant like, couple of pictures that I saw on Google looked like that, so I was kind of trying to replicate that, so... Uh, yeah, also adding in the boxes of, like, fruit is normally where you would, like, get fruit or something. You would carry it in that because, you know, you don't have plastic bags or anything like that. Uh, you probably don't have Amazon there, so, you know, you could... So you go to your probably backyard, harvest some apples, oranges, or whatever you have in your backyard, and bring it in these, uh... Uh, things in these uh, wooden boxes <laughs> so yeah moving on uh, so this is the hallway which will have only on one side so it only has pictures on one side uh, and lights on another which is uh, a fun fact if you didn't already notice that uh, now you know the more you know and uh, I will also uh, kind of uh, order them you can see from the lowest to from the biggest to the smallest like I did right now and this is the basement this is one of the basements in this castle I will as you can see I did stretch out the uh, what's the word I'm looking for I did stretch out the stairs a little bit made it made them three wide which I thought would look uh, really nice and for some reason it kept uh, Deleting these stairs when I deleted this part of the uh, the floor and it, it wasn't really good So <laughs> I decided to you know, let's not delete that at all Let's just put something there as a display so it looks like it was meant to be there and Stuff so that was fun uh, So I'm really uh, I haven't got to into the basement part yet And when I do I have a feeling that I'll be struggling a lot because I have no idea what to put I was thinking about some sort of jail to put down there Where you could keep your prisoners, but I don't think that's gonna happen unfortunately, so uh, Yeah, we're gonna leave that uh, soon. I was trying to add these columns so it looks like it has some sort of support and uh, That's pretty much it for this uh, video guys Thank you very much for watching this video, like this video if you like it, dislike it if you didn't like it, and uh, don't forget to leave a comment below telling me what you think about this video, these are some screenshots, and like I said before, feedback is much appreciated, so uh, there's a fun fact in that. Uh, don't forget to click the beautiful subscribe button below, and I will see you in my next video, and until then, I'm Leon, and happy simming!